I want to ask Henry a question. Go for it. What have you been doing this week, Henry? <laughs> Kelvin, uh, we've been watching the Ultimate Fighter play out, having some, having some success early on the show. You, you feel yeah. a little confident, a little cocky watching it play out? <laughs> yeah, I feel pretty good watching it play out right now, yeah. What's the key to, what's the key to success in that show? I mean, obviously you've been through it, you, you, you know all about it, so yeah. as a coach, like, what did, what did you try to bring to the table? What do you think the key is to having team success like that? Yeah, well, I, I just try to emulate the, the format that Chael had when I was on the on the show. I know how I felt when I was on the show. I know how they made me feel. They made me feel confident. They made me build my, my self-confidence in, in the fights. And that's kind of what I wanted to do with these fighters is to be there and, and be, you know, sort of a tool for them to, to use. What about yourself while you are there? I mean, did you do any scouting of Robert, so to speak? I mean, did you kind of, you know, whether it be just about the man or about yeah. the fighter? I mean, what, what did you learn? Yeah, I mean, I kept an open mind and yeah, I studied what I could, but the, really the interactions that Rob and I had were very minimal. Um, and I think it just it speaks a lot. I think also, you know, silence speaks a thousand words as well. So, um, you know, there, there's the tension there between uh, Rob and I, and uh, you know, we, we we didn't really display it on the on the show, but on the last day of the show, the gloves came off, for sure. Is there any reason for that tension aside from just you know champ and challenger? I don't think so. I mean, I don't dislike the guy. He's actually a pretty nice guy, but. He's got what I want. Do you have any opinion? And uh, that just kind of makes it personal already, I guess. <laughs> you know, he's got what I want. I'm trying to take it from him. That kind of just makes it personal. When does the uh, tension get resolved? We, uh, we're still trying to figure out when this is, right. when this is going down. Give us, what's, what's the update? I wish I knew. I wish I knew uh, what uh, time frame for the fight would be, but I, I've been given no notice of, of when it would be. I, in my mind, would like it to be in February, um, but I honestly, I, I, that's just me, you know, throwing it out there in the universe. So I wonder, I mean, how do you conduct yourself as far as training? I mean, you know you've got a title fight, right? You know you're almost at the pinnacle. That's right. You don't have a date yet. That's right. How do you train, focus, what's, what's the mindset right now? Yeah, well, right now I've been, I've been keeping busy, man. Like, ever since my fight with Jacques Ray, I haven't, I haven't stopped. Like I've been doing media tours. I just got done filming the Ultimate Fighter, um, and then I've been doing more media for the media Ultimate Fighter. So I just I just haven't been stopped. You know, I'm out here in Moscow doing more media. You know, guest appearances. So I, I just keep busy, man. Because honestly, if I'm not doing anything, then then uh, I get real anxious. You know, if I'm not doing anything. Do you feel that coaching has helped you in any way as a fighter as well? Um, I definitely think so because. Uh, not only do you have to think about the training and, and, and everything else, but it's just, it was just, I was able also to learn off the fighters. You know, I was also able to re remember what it was like for me to be there at one point. It kind of just motivates me a little bit, you know, because it takes me back to when I was just that 21 year old hungry guy, which I'm still hungry now, but you know, you, you get complacent, you know, you, you definitely do, but. Uh, that brought back a lot of memories and brought back that 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 old school KG. Are you uh, are you willing to go to Australia to fight him, or would you would you kind of try to campaign against that, happen to make that trip? Yeah, I definitely try and campaign against it. <laughs> it's hopefully make it in Vegas. And there's a, a lot of talent coming up. You know, uh, we got to see uh, the first female fight with Pani Kianza against Katarina Leonard. What did you think of, uh, of her fight and, and uh, her performance? The Penny? Yeah. Penny was amazing. Um, she was just one of those girls that would stay another hour after practice and just drill, 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 drill. So she's just very dedicated, very focused. And she was great in practice, but then when it came to the fight, it was just another level to her. And it was very impressive. Was it in any way like nostalgic for you to be back in the fighter, but this time as a coach? Mm, no, because I had already done it before in um, the, the second season in Latin America. And so I was pretty. Uh, familiar with it already. Khabib versus uh, Conor McGregor. Khabib. Uh, well, you know, I always hear stories about Khabib about how how he feels like a heavyweight when you grab when he grabs a hold of you, and when he's on top of you, he feels like a heavyweight. And I just feel like Conor's never felt that kind of pressure before from from somebody like like Khabib, and I think uh, Khabib will take it.
What did you learn about Russia during your visit? Russia, man. I love this city, bro. <laughs> I had an amazing time here. Uh, the people are great. The food was great. The the city is great. It's a beautiful city. Honestly, when I when I was gonna come here, I, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I didn't know if they liked Americans or not. You know, it's like I don't know. I don't know. But it, it's been a great, great freaking uh, trip. If not that a fight, who you think you could fight? Who you want to fight? Um, if it wasn't for the title. Yes. Shoot, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see myself accepting any other fight than the title right now, but, you know, I just don't know what would make sense. So you are going to wait in promotion? Oh, yeah. I'm waiting. Yeah. Thanks, guys.